Racism in America, guys, it strikes me, is the worst of its kind anywhere in the world. Not that any racism anywhere in the world is good at all. But racism is different around the world. And I think it's worth us knowing this and talking about this as white people. Racism in America, it seems to me, is monolithic in nature because it's completely complexion based. I saw an example of this recently when I read something about uh, a white woman in a city in California and in her white middle class suburb, she saw three black guys leaving a house across the street from her quite early in the morning. She called the cops, the cops came, arrested them. You know, classic Ahmad Aubrey scenario, uh, black guys in a white neighborhood equals up to no good in the white woman's mind. Cops arrested them. Turns out they were using the house as an Airbnb and leaving early to fly elsewhere. And turns out also none of them were actually American. One was Canadian, one was French, one was Afro-Caribbean. Didn't matter to the white lady that they may be from a different background and nationality um, than what she assumed. It didn't matter. They're black equals called the cops. In Europe, racism is actually more nuanced and more geographical and um, nation-based. For instance, in France, you'd experience less racism as an African-American than you would as an African. In England, you'd experience more racism as a Pakistani than you would as an African-American. Because in Europe, we tend to be more racist towards people that come from nations that we feel threatened by for some particular reason that we feel threatened by them at that stage in our history. As I said, this isn't to minimize anyone's suffering that suffers any kind of racism, but it is to say something that makes us aware as white people um, that racism varies around the world and I think it's good for us to educate ourselves about this and to realize that America therefore has a version of racism that is particularly insidious and entrenched and evil and deeply deeply embedded in the white American psyche because of its monolithic complexion based nature. And I'm saying this to Kamala to keep this discussion alive amongst us as white people um, because, as I said, this fades in our minds, but it will not and cannot fade for black people who are still shouting, it's still racism over here, guys, to us white people who may move on and um, forget that we must continue to have a voice and a part in all of this, if only to be curious and keep learning a bit every single day is what I keep appealing for to us all. Anyway, sending love and blessings to you all. Hope you are well um, in whatever you are doing, whatever you are in the world at this time. Love and greetings to you all. Thank you.